A Western News investigation has revealed that a tax break may not be a money saver after all. The Hurricane Catastrophe Fund, is the tax on that is supposed to go away starting tomorrow, but that may not be the case for millions of Floridians. Let's choose Greg Fox and cover the problem. And Greg, this doesn't sound fair at all. I think a lot of people would agree that it just doesn't feel right. First, you need to understand that Florida has been taxing virtually all insurance policies in Florida on your homes, cars, businesses for years to cover hurricane damage. But with no direct storm hits for nearly a decade, the governor and cabinet ordered the tax to be dropped. But many of you have already paid for next year's taxes and didn't even know it. Charlie played no favorites. Charlie was not a friend. Charlie, Francis, and Jean not only left Central Florida battered in 04, they also left the state with a bruising bill for damages. You have been paying for it with a tax on your insurance bills that goes to the Florida Hurricane Catastrophe Fund. It equals 1.3% of the total premium on virtually every insurance policy you have. Home, business, auto, jewelry, even renter's insurance. With $13 billion in the fund and nearly all hurricane bonds paid off, Governor Rick Scott and the cabinet voted in June to eliminate the tax beginning January 1st. No, you shouldn't have to pay it, period. Brian Nelson is an insurance agent, former state lawmaker and new Orange County commissioner. He says there's a big problem. People who started or renewed insurance policies in 2014 and paid months or a year in advance have already paid a tax they should never have paid. He's worried some insurance companies will not reimburse customers. You know, it's 50, 60, 100 bucks that you're paying for the cap fund that you wouldn't have to. You know, we need to get that uh, taken care of. True, it's not a big amount. A $200,000 home with an insurance premium of $1,179 had you paying a $15 hurricane tax this year. But watchdog groups say statewide, millions of your dollars could be unjustly withheld by insurance companies. Just because consumers are not paying this assessment any longer doesn't mean that there's not a threat of this coming back on our insurance bills. Now, just a short while ago, I spoke with a representative at the State Office of Insurance Regulation who told me the policy of eliminating the tax only applies to policies written or renewed January 1st and beyond. We're hoping to know in the coming days if taxes paid in advance this calendar year will be reimbursed, and if so, by the state or the insurance companies.